drop, pen and drop. Right, because then, like, you know, um, I know that you you had a, a problem with what Marley was saying on the Beef DVD about, yo, Shan is my man, but I believe that Chris won the battle, right? And um, That don't mean nothing to me, because that mean you was a sucker, too, because he was talking about your fuck ass, too. <laughs> <laughs> right, and you, and you've been on record talking about that, saying that, you know, he was talking about you just as oh, much as he was talking about me. I can't go to the kitchen for some reason with you. I don't know what that is. It, it'd be blinking That's out in the, the kitchen. It's probably the Wi-Fi, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Do, do your thing. I ain't even going to check the kitchen chicken. <laughs> I, ain't, I can't fix it for him anyway. I got barbecue chicken in, in the oven. You know me, shizzle in the kizzle <laughs> with a whistle. <laughs> but but you were able to talk with Marley and, and, and get through that with the whole yeah. Chris situation. It wasn't nothing. <laughs> Exactly. It wasn't nothing. He produced the album for Chris. I ain't what the fuck. He liked Chris just as much as I do. But he figured <laughs> he could make some money out the shit. Like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. But then I used to diss him because everybody that I made a diss record about, including LL, Molly made records for him. I diss LL on Beat Biter. You gonna make an album with LL. I'm out fucking diss Chris. You gonna make a record with Chris. So that was one of the things, but dang, as you grow up and become a man, I'm like, shit, there was money involved in that shit. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't care. <laughs> right, right. That's when you're young and you got your feelings in it. Yeah, things don't be, uh, aren't as important. When you get older, you really start to see past the bullshit. Like, it's not a big deal. Right, I ain't bullshit, man. Fuck how I, shit, I'd have said my family too. Fuck you. Tupac right. told me I sold out for fucking doing snow. I was like, fuck you, Tupac, nigga. I don't give a fuck. You ain't feed my family. That motherfucker magazine where Tupac went up my head for producing snow. You're fucking producing the white guys. <laughs> I'm like, nigga, fuck you, Pac. <laughs> oh, for real? Yes, yes, yes. Did I you ever have, have a conversation about- with him? No, I never had a conversation with him. It was always do some media shit. But the nigga mm-hmm. was on some motherfucking fuck that shan. You put the white boy down. I'm like, nigga, fuck you. <laughs> you ain't three my motherfucking family. Dre, none of y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> and Farmer, <laughs> you said, that's the only thing I can blame him. And, uh, and even him saying that, it's nothing big. You know, nothing big to me. I wouldn't hate Pop for saying that. Though. Pop was a, a revolutionary. Pop was, Pop was just Pac. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pac was Pac. And that was it. I respect him for whatever the fuck. But like I said earlier, people would think I'm disrespecting. I'm not being disrespectful. I'm just putting the whole thing. Because I'm number something on the top 100 of all time rappers, right? I'm, I've got a number there. And it's in the fucking high uppers, not way down there. It's up here somewhere. Now, I don't feel right with that. Fuck that, because there's going to be somebody that's going to listen to me nowadays and want to fucking be like an MC Sham, but be better than Sham. So how the fuck am I going to sit there and take this number where it might be a motherfucking two years to come out and fucking do better uh, with metaphorical things like when I did cocaine, I talked about Nas even tried it when, when he did that about the gun. I t- I had a song I had a song called Cocaine back in the days where I talked about cocaine like it was a girl. I was the first metaphoric dude that would talk about a cup, but you I'm not really talking about a cup, but boom. Don't you know by now that her name was Cocaine? And I described how I met a I met a girl, she was pure white. She'll mess doctors up. She done got lawyers, all this stuff. So don't mess with shorty because she'll mess you up. And I said, don't you know by now I was doing metaphoric things like that. So anybody that came after her is just a mere copy. Right. 